from uh, from the viewpoint of being a musician, what was the most important thing you learned from Gene and Paul? Well, certainly, first of all, they're a lot more musical than people give them credit for. Okay, mm. and so is his material, to be quite honest. I've done a few of the rock and roll fantasy camps where uh, Paul or Gene is the guest, and you know, Kiss songs are covered, and I work just as hard on those as uh, many of the other groups that that, that are involved in a, in a Who camp or or Cream camp and things like that. Um, but I have to say that, you know, for me, what I took away was the whole package kind of thing. You know, the music was always there and yeah, Gene and Paul kind of downplay the musicianship of Kiss. It's always been about the show, but I know why they push that because they have that down and, you know, to a very, very, very large degree, you know, from being performers to knowing how to present the band to, uh, um, how to run a set and how to get the crowd crazy, you know? Um, and, and I think all the live performances from my era proved that too, without the makeup and all of that, we still put on extremely competitive, exciting shows. And of course they continue to do that because that is something that they feel they're, they're built to do. You know what I mean? It's just in, the, in their, it, it's, it's in their genes, uh, genetically to put on a, a, a big event every time they perform. Mm. 